Greetings. Greetings to all and happy and blessed Sunday. I hope everyone's having a blessed day today. I hope you're enjoying uh, your time, staying home and staying safe. And today I welcome you again to Storytime at Five with Dr. Tinsley. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. In the stories that I read every day. Good afternoon to all of you. Hi, Mildred, waving back at you. Nice to see you joining me. So I have two stories to read for you today. Um, the first one is one of my favorite authors, Toni Morrison, but this is a children's book that she wrote with her son, Slade Morrison, and it's called Peanut Butter Fudge by Toni Morrison and Slade Morrison. And when I was growing up, boys and girls, peanut butter was the favorite food everybody ate. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We never heard of anybody having a peanut butter, peanut butter allergy. And I know it's changed, but enjoy this story, peanut butter fudge. Peanut butter fudge. The mom's leaving for work and she left instructions, 12 o'clock lunch, 1.15 nap, 2.25 playground, 4 p.m. television, 5 o'clock dinner, 6.30 bath, 7.15 snack, 7.30 bed, I'll be back at bedtime, mommy. And look, the children are all left with the grandmother. Snuggle, snuggle, time to rest. Nana joins us in her nest. Nap time, nap time is not so long when Nana sings a sleepy song. Looky, 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 look. We get to get a storybook. Fairies, dragons everywhere. Creepy things under the stairs. Pots of gold, a laughing mouse. A peppermint chimney on a house. Hey, Val. Hurry, hurry, hop in the car. Let's go fast, let's go far. All around, up and down, Nana takes us through the town. Yummy, lummy, yummy, lummy, so much happy in the tummy. Look at what our Nana made us, biscuits, ham, and lemonade us. Oh my goodness, Nana's sick. Help, find the doctor's kit. She's got a fever, her face is hot. Got some, get some water, pour a lot. Band-Aids for her toes, Band-Aids for her nose. Doctor said you need rest. Quiet while we check your chest. Be good, Nana. Take a vitamin pill. We'll make you well. You bet we will. Hold my hand and swing around. Feel the rhythm in the ground. Lift your left foot, now your right. Shake your shoulders with all your might. Let's make the kitty cat. I've got one paw, I've got two. Here's his tail and whiskers too. Here's his play toy, but it doesn't belong. The shape is right, but the color is wrong. Patience, patience, no need for haste. Every piece has its place. Peeny butter fudge, peeny butter fudge. Mommy's coming any minute. Quick, quick, let's begin it. Shh, 
Don't tell, but I can't help it. This recipe is a family, family secret. Mix it, cook it, cool it, eat it. My mother taught me and I taught yours. Don't ever forget how it's done or you will have to pass it on. Tickety top, tickety top. Can we beat that big old clock? Peeny butter, peeny butter. Nana is the best grandmother. Oh my, look at the kitchen. Give me a kiss, give me a hug, peeny butter, peeny butter, peeny butter fudge. And there's the recipe for peeny butter fudge. Boy, they had a ball, they had a great time with their grandmother when their mother went out. And speaking of grandmothers, I'm a grandmother of 11. And I asked people if they wanted to draw pictures of some of the stories I read to share them with me. So my youngest granddaughter, Zelica, is four years old, and she drew two pictures. One of the stories I read was Sulwe, and Sulwe was the story by Lupita Nyong'o of the girl who didn't like her skin because it was so dark. And so Zelica said, this is Sulwe. And she wasn't happy then because her skin was so dark. And these are the shooting stars in her picture. So that's one by Zelica. And then the second one that she read was based on Tar Beach. And she said, this is the bridge. In Tar Beach, there was a bridge. This is the bridge. And this is the sky that the girl could see from the bridge. So those are two pictures by my granddaughter, Zelica. So if any children want to draw pictures based on the story I read and send them to me, uh, you can text it and send it um, to Dr. Helen Tinsley at gmail.com. I will print it and show it, okay? So our second story, oh, let me say hi. Hi, Val and Olivia. Hi, Mildred. Hello, Sam. Hey, Denny. Yes, Mildred, it was a mess in that kitchen, right? <laughs> um, and Olivia, nice to see you all. Our second book is called Just Like Josh Gibson. And the author is Angela Johnson. I'm trying to avoid the uh, shadow. Just like Josh Gibson. When we read stories, boys and girls, it's important to look at the cover and the uh, opening pages because it gives us a little information about the books too. Grandmama says there's nothing like baseball, the story goes. Josh Gibson once hit a baseball in Pittsburgh so hard that it didn't come down. The next day he was playing in Philadelphia and the ball dropped out of the sky right into a fielder's glove. The umpire pointed at Josh and said, you're out yesterday in Pittsburgh. Grandmama said her papa showed her, showed up on the same day, the day she was born with a Louisville slugger and a smile. He said his new baby would make baseballs fly just like Josh Gibson. So grandmama's papa threw balls to his baby girl in the early morning dew. Those summer days were like magic as the ball sailed away, sailed away, gone.
But girls in the 40s didn't play baseball. They weren't supposed to take the field with the boys or have batting dreams. So even when grandmama got bigger, she still had to stand outside the fence and watch her cousin Danny and the Maple Grove All-Stars batting away. But every now and then when the team was just practicing, they let grandmama play too. Then grandmama would step up to the plate, hit the ball and watch it soar. Grandmama says Danny would imagine he was playing with the Dodgers, but she was always Josh Gibson playing for the Grays wearing the team colors and heading away. Grandmama says she would play all day with everybody saying she could do it all, hit, throw, and fly around the bases. But too bad she's a girl. Too bad she's a girl. Until two days, hot days after the 4th of July, Danny heard his arm sliding into second and there were only eight all-stars. That afternoon, the team looked to grandmama, pink dress with a white bow and Danny's baseball shoes. And grandmama says that she went to the plate. She remembered. Hitting balls with her papa and standing behind the fence watching the boys play. The story goes, Grandmama hit, a, hit the ball a mile that day, caught anything that was thrown and did everything else just like Josh Gibson. As she hands the ball to me, she says, there's nothing like baseball, baby. And I couldn't help but love it, especially that one time I got to hear the cheers, hear all the cheers while stealing home. And that's the end. And in the back, they give you information about job, Josh Gibson. So very briefly, he died at 37 years old, but he was called the Babe Ruth of the Negro League. Um, and he had ball playing skills that are the stuff of legend. So he was a phenomenal ball player, just like Josh Gibson. So to hello to those that have joined us. I see my nephew, hi Django. Hi, Stephanie. Glad to see all of you join me. Um, have a blessed day. I want to share something a little different today. I'm also a writer. And so, you know, we're living in a time of challenge and a time where many people have to uh, constantly renew their faith. Fear is sometimes taking over faith. So I want to share a poem. This is an adult poem. This is from my first book called Spirit Rising. Poetic Reflections. Creation. This is the day that the Lord has made. Silvery ripples erupting over and over, gently breaking at the smooth shoreline, continually reminding us life goes on in spite of the lemons of our human the limits of our human self. Day becomes night and light gives way to dark. The sun shares the spotlight with the moon, bearing witness to the majesty and power of the Most High. Babies are born, people die, transforming, transitioning, changing physical forms, yet testifying that the spirit is forever, not limited to or bound by the confines of the physical world. Creation is our example. Creation is our teacher, creation. And that's from Spirit Rising. And I'm gonna close with one more poem from my last book called And the Beat Goes On.
poem thoughts and snippets along the journey. Because I think it's important in this day and time for us to be still, for us to pause and just be. And so this poem is called Still Waters Run Deep. Stillness is the calm before the storm, the moment before the wave breaks, the instant before the volcano erupts, the minute second that occurs between thought and sound, the space between you and I. Gentle ripples spill onto unmarked sand, imprinting its unique stamp, reminding us creation is, was, and will be. Each wave a unique one, different from before and never to be again. Still waters run deep. The history, the stories, the legacy lie deep in the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. Each wave sheds new knowledge, tells a piece of the story, expresses the power of the people, weeps for their pain and suffering. Captured gods of men forced across the Atlantic to foreign shores on waters with the ebb and flow familiar, the people in place strange, still waters still carry on and the people shall continue. And that still waters run deep. And to those watching, we shall continue. Um, life goes on. We have to use our common sense and practice um, you know, safety. Stay at home if you can. Use this time to indulge yourself in whatever you can do to fulfill yourself in your home. There's, there's a whole world we can reach through technology today. Let's take advantage of it. I hope everyone has a blessed day, a blessed Sunday, and I look forward to sharing these stories with you every day. This was our second week. Today's day 14, I believe, um, and I'm enjoying it, and I hope your uh, children and grandchildren are enjoying. And again, if anybody, any children want to send a picture, they can, uh, you can snap the picture with your cam, your phone, and, uh, e and email it to me, or you can scan it and email it to drhelentinsley at gmail.com. Um, enjoy your day. Have, be safe and well. God bless. <laughs>